Hey everyone and welcome to a what I eat in a day video. This was a randomly very cloudy kind of cozy day in LA so I wanted quick easy no fuss but also nourishing and cozy meals at the same time and that's pretty much exactly what I got so I hope this video gives you some good ideas. Thank you to Olipop for teaming up with me on this video and let's go ahead and get started. So far today I've had coffee, I've had my breakfast which I'll go ahead and show you now. So I just started with a warm cup of coffee and some almond milk. I've been changing up my plant milks every time, so I feel like every time I show my coffee, it's a different milk. Sometimes it's soy, sometimes it's oat, sometimes it's almond, sometimes it's coconut, it really just depends. Then I cut up some fruit and I had some oats soaking in the fridge overnight. I find that this really cuts the cook time in half and I can have breakfast in like three or four minutes if I do this the night before and they turn out super thick and creamy. I always like to add either flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, something like that, and some cinnamon, and then I topped it with fruit and this organic creamy almond butter from Trader Joe's. I really like this one. It comes in salted or unsalted, but I think it's really, really nice and creamy, and so it has been my go-to. I did a little gave on top, and this was so quick and delicious. So for lunch on this day, I'd gone ahead and made my ugly delicious lunch that I've been loving recently. And an ugly delicious lunch is basically the kind of meal that you make for yourself and you know it tastes really good and you really, really like it, but it doesn't look very good. And if I were to like make this and hand it to you, you would be like, what is this? Cause it, it doesn't look like it would taste good, but it seriously is good. And I've been making it for either lunch or dinner basically all week. And it's super, super easy too. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. But before I started lunch, I went into the kitchen to practice my one bowl vegan brownie recipe because I'm going to be filming a bake with me video and I'm going to be sharing this brownie recipe. So I always like to make sure that I test my recipes several times before I share them with you guys. Cause I know that if you're going to be making my recipes, you know, you're going to be spending your time, you're gonna spend money on ingredients and obviously you want it to turn out good because you're you know making an effort to make my recipes so I just like to make sure that I test it and I know that they are replicable and I'll also be able to answer your questions so I went ahead and I made that recipe I took all my notes and then I put them in the oven and after that I got started on lunch this lunch was born almost on accident just using up leftovers and now it is one of my favorite ways to use some cooked grains whatever veggies i have in the fridge and some veggie burgers which i always keep in the freezer these from hillary's are particularly good with this exact recipe so if you're going to recreate it at home grab a hillary's burger microwave it for a minute mash it up i know this seems really strange but i'm going to go ahead and do that and then do a couple of scoops of my cooked rice and i'll put this back in the microwave for just like 30 seconds or so to warm it all up super super fast and then the key is to add shredded veggies shredded cabbage and some sweet shredded carrots really does make all the difference here like i've done it with chopped veggies and it's just not as satisfying there's something about the shredded raw veggies with the warm rice and the veggie burger that's so good i kind of drown it in fresh lemon juice i do a little drizzle of olive oil maybe like a teaspoon or two and then some coarse salt and that's it. The burger itself has lots of seasoning, so it really goes a long way, and this is just so good. And I paired it with a ginger lemon olipop, which is really nice because it's slightly sweet, it's got a little bit of that spicy gingery kick, and it's cold and refreshing, and that kind of complements the savory, hearty, warm, rice bowl that I had. The ginger lemon flavor is really nice and light for summertime, but I also really love the vintage cola. There's a classic root beer, which is just super, super nostalgic. And my favorite flavors are the cherry vanilla and also the orange squeeze. And they've got a strawberry vanilla as well and the lemon ginger. If I'm making vegan burgers or pizza or like hot dogs or something, then I'm definitely gonna go for the vintage cola or the root beer, just because that's such a classic nostalgic flavor combination. But if I'm having, you know, salads or wraps or something really fresh and light I might do the strawberry vanilla or the lemon ginger for that so it really is fun to kind of mix and match and pair a different Olipop with whatever I'm cooking plus unlike soda Olipop has less than 50 calories per can they're low sugar only two to five grams per flavor they're high fiber they have nine grams of prebiotic fiber per can they're also gluten-free non-gmo vegan and there's nothing artificial so nothing like sodas in that regard but they do kind of have that same nostalgia flavor profile that we all love so if you're looking to replace some of the sugary beverages in your life I think you guys will really like Olipop and if you want to check them out there is a link in the description box below and that will save you 15% off your order if you use my code and let me know which flavor you end up liking the best and now let's go ahead and get into brownie time If 
I just have a little bit of a dry ingredient like flour left in a container, I'll go ahead and pour that out. And then when I restock with the fresh flour, I'll just put that little bit on top so it gets used first and everything stays nice and fresh. All right, so it is dinner time right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a recipe from my blog. It's called my creamy cauliflower lemon alfredo. Lemon cauliflower alfredo? One of those. But it's like a fettuccine alfredo style sauce made from cauliflower, and it has hemp seeds. And I like that because one, it's a nut-free option for those of you who are looking to make like a creamy sauce for pasta, but you can't have nuts due to taste preferences or allergies or whatever it may be. Um, it's also just nice to kind of change up the base of creamy sauces to increase the types of diversity in our diets. But then I also think that this is great because you don't have to soak anything, so there's no like soaking cashews because the hemp seeds blend really nice and smooth just as is so it's a really quick option for a day like today when I've just been working and I want to throw together a nice meal like I want something that feels really nourishing and comforting but at the same time I want it to be quick instead of doing fettuccine one because I don't have fettuccine and two because I kind of want to switch it up. I've got this brown rice pasta that I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do half brown rice pasta and half of this lentil pasta. And this is a really nice way just to kind of add extra nutrients, both of them. Um, this one is going to add a little bit more protein, iron, fiber, and I really like this combination together. Plus they happen to be the same exact shape, so they'll cook at the same time. I'm just going to throw them all in and toss that together with the sauce. So not technically fettuccine Alfredo. It's going to be a Fusilli Alfredo. This can really be like a 15 minute meal if you start with the thing that takes the longest and work backwards. So usually I start with the pasta. This is gonna take about eight minutes. And I like to make sure that I always use like medium high heat when I'm using my always pan, even if I'm boiling so that it doesn't get too hot because that just helps to protect the the nonstick coating. And then I ladled out some of the pasta water and went ahead and started with my veggies. I just sauteed some mushrooms in this sun-dried tomato and olive oil, like the olive oil that's in the jar. It's infused with the sun-dried tomato and the garlic and the Italian herbs, and it adds so much flavor. So it's really great for sauteing veggies instead of just using regular olive oil, and there's just no need to waste it. It's so, so flavorful. So I did that. I ended up adding a little splash of water as well, and then I added some garlic and dried Italian herbs, and this just helped to cook the mushrooms. Then I added some sun-dried tomatoes and the cooked pasta. And then all I had to do was make the sauce, which was basically just to blend up some cauliflower rice with hemp seeds, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then I added some almond milk. I usually use soy for this recipe, but I had almond on this day. And then I added the pasta cooking water. Then it blends super nice and smooth. As you can see, it's so creamy and silky. That's because of those hemp seeds. And it's going to thicken up a little bit as it warms through. So I usually cook this for like five minutes and it really helps to thicken the sauce and it will really cling to the noodles because we have that starchy pasta water that thickens with the heat. So it really does coat the noodles in such a luxuriously creamy Alfredo-y way. It's really delicious. I love to top this with fresh parsley, lots and lots of lemon zest, and lots and lots of black pepper. I personally think that toppings are not just garnish, they really do add so much flavor. And here you can see the pasta just got super thick and creamy, and it has the sun-dried tomatoes, the seasoned mushrooms, and also like garlic and herbs, and cauliflower, which you would never really know you were eating cauliflower. It's just like a nice creamy pasta. So it's it's comforting, but it's also packed with lots of veggies and the pasta also had a little bit of protein and iron and fiber as well. So this was hearty and filling. I ended up having two bowls while I was watching some Netflix and it was like the coziest way to end one very cloudy day in LA. I'm gonna be sharing the recipe for my one bowl vegan brownies in Sunday's video. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you've hit the little bell notification so you will see it right when the video goes up. Even if you are subscribed to my channel, go ahead and look to see if you click that little bell right next to it because if you haven't you still might not see when I post a new video YouTube does this thing where you really only get a notification for a new video when you've clicked that bell so if you want to stay up to date with recipes and vlogs make sure that you subscribe and you hit the bell and if you want to see the recipes that I mentioned in this video like my lemon alfredo recipe then that is going to be in the description box and that is also where you will find the link to try Olipop give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in a video very soon on Sunday actually actually for the brownie recipe. So I will see you then. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.